A circle is a simple shape in Euclidean geometry. It is the set of all points in a plane that are at a given distance from a given point, the center. Equivalently it is the curve traced out by a point that moves so that its distance from a given point is constant. The distance between any of the points and the center is called the radius. A circle is a simple closed curve which divides the plane into two regions an interior and an exterior. In everyday use, the term circle may be used interchangeably to refer to either the boundary of the figure, or to the whole figure including its interior. In strict technical usage, the circle is only the boundary and the whole figure is called the disk. A circle may also be defined as a special ellipse in which the two foci are coincident and the eccentricity is zero, or the two-dimensional shape enclosing the most area per unit perimeter squared using calculus of variations. A circle is a plane figure bounded by one line, and such that all right lines drawn from a certain point within it to the bounding line are equal. The bounding line is called its circumference and the point, its center. Euclid. Elements book I. Terminology. Arc. Any connected part of the circle. Center. The point equidistant from the points on the circle. Chord. A line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle. Circumference. The length of one circuit along the circle, or the distance around the circle. Diameter. A line segment whose endpoints lie on the circle and which passes through the center, or the length of such a line segment which is the largest distance between any two points on the circle. It is a special case of a chord, namely, the longest chord, and it is twice the radius. Disc. The region of the plane bounded by a circle. Lens. The intersection of two discs. Passant. A coplane a straight line that does not touch the circle. Radius. A line segment joining the center of the circle to any point on the circle itself, or the length of such a segment, which is half a diameter. Sector. A region bounded by two radii and an arc lying between the radii. Segment. A region, not containing the center, bounded by a chord and an arc lying between the chord's endpoints. Secant. An extended chord, a coplane a straight line cutting the circle at two points. Semicircle, an arc that extends from one of a diameter's end points to the other. In non-technical common usage it may mean the diameter, arc, and its interior, a two-dimensional region, that is technically called a half-disc. A half-disc is a special case of a segment, namely, the largest one, tangent. A coplane a straight line that touches the circle at a single point. History. The word circle derives from the Greek kappa iota rho kappa rho micron sigma kappa upsilon kappa lambda rho micron sigma itself a metathesis of the Homeric Greek kappa rho iota kappa rho micron sigma meaning hoop or ring. The origins of the words circus and circuit are closely related. The circle has been known since before the beginning of recorded history. Natural circles would have been observed, such as the moon, sun, and a short plant stalk blowing in the wind on sand, which forms a circle shape in the sand. The circle is the basis for the wheel, which, with related inventions such as gears, makes much of modern machinery possible. In mathematics, the study of the circle has helped inspire the development of geometry, astronomy, and calculus. Early science, particularly geometry and astrology and astronomy, was connected to the divine for most medieval scholars, and many believed that there was something intrinsically divine or perfect that could be found in circles. Some highlights in the history of the circular. 1700 BCE, the Rhind Papyrus gives a method to find the area of a circular field. The result corresponds to 256 80 firsts as an approximate value of pi. 300 BCE, Book 3 of Euclid's Elements deals with the properties of circles. 
In Plato's seventh letter there is a detailed definition and explanation of the circle. Plato explains the perfect circle, and how it is different from any drawing, words, definition or explanation. 1880 C. E. Lindemann proves that pi is transcendental, effectively settling the millennia-old problem of squaring the circle. Analytic results Length of circumference The ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter is pi, an irrational constant approximately equal to 3.141592654. Thus, the length of the circumference C is related to the radius R in diameter d by. Area enclosed is proved by Archimedes. The area enclosed by a circle is equal to that of a triangle whose base has the length of the circle's circumference and whose height equals the circle's radius, which comes to pi multiplied by the radius squared, equivalently, denoting diameter by d, that is, approximately 79% of the circumscribing square. The circle is the plane curve enclosing the maximum area for a given arc length. This relates the circle to a problem in the calculus of variations, namely the isoparametric inequality. Equations Cartesian coordinates in an XY Cartesian coordinates system. The circle with center coordinates and radius R is the set of all points such that this equation, known as the equation of the circle, follows from the Pythagorean theorem applied to any point on the circle. As shown in the diagram to the right, the radius is the hypotenuse of a right-angled triangle whose other sides are of length x minus a and y minus b. If the circle is centered at the origin, then the equation simplifies to the equation can be written in parametric form using the trigonometric functions sine and cosine as where t is a parametric variable in the range 0 to 2 pi, interpreted geometrically as the angle that the ray from to makes with the positive x-axis. An alternative parametrization of the circle is, in this parametrization, the ratio of t to r can be interpreted geometrically as the stereographic projection of the line passing through the center parallel to the x-axis. However, this parametrization works only if t is made to range not only through all rails but also to a point at infinity, otherwise, the bottommost point of the circle would be emitted. In homogeneous coordinates each conic section with the equation of a circle has the form it can be proven that a conic section is a circle exactly when it contains the points i and j. These points are called the circular points of infinity. Polar coordinates in polar coordinates the equation of a circle is where a is the radius of the circle, is the polar coordinate of a generic point on the circle, and is the polar coordinate of the center of the circle. For a circle centered at the origin, i.e., r0 equals 0, this reduces to simply r equals a. When r0 equals a, or when the origin lies on the circle, the equation becomes in the general case, the equation can be solved for r, giving note that without the plus or minus sign, the equation would in some cases describe only half a circle. Complex plane In the complex plane, a circle with a center at c and radius has the equation. In parametric form this can be written. The slightly generalized equation for real P, Q and complex G is sometimes called the generalized circle. This becomes the above equation for a circle with, since, not all generalized circles are actually circles. A generalized circle is either a circle or a line. Tangent lines The tangent line through a point P on the circle is perpendicular to the diameter passing through P. If P equals and the circle has center and radius R, then the tangent line is perpendicular to the line from 2, so it has the form x plus y equals C. Evaluating it determines the value of C and the result is that the equation of the tangent is or if y1 b then the slope of this line is this can also be found using implicit differentiation. When the center of the circle is at the origin then the equation of the tangent line becomes and its slope is properties. The circle is the shape with the largest area for a given length of perimeter. The circle is a highly symmetric shape.
Every line through the center forms a line of reflection symmetry and it has rotational symmetry around the center for every angle. Its symmetry group is the orthogonal group O. The group of rotations alone is the circle group T. All circles are similar. A circle's circumference and radius are proportional. The area enclosed in the square of its radius are proportional. The constants of proportionality are 2 pi and pi, respectively. The circle which is centered at the origin with radius 1 is called the unit circle. Thought of as a great circle of the unit sphere, it becomes the Riemannian circle. Through any three points, not all on the same line, there lies a unique circle. In Cartesian coordinates, it is possible to give explicit formulae for the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius in terms of the coordinates of the three given points. See circumcircle. Chord chords are equidistant from the center of a circle if and only if they are equal in length. The perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through the center of a circle, equivalent statements stemming from the uniqueness of the perpendicular bisector are. A perpendicular line from the center of a circle bisects the chord. The line segment through the center bisecting a chord is perpendicular to the chord. If a central angle and an inscribed angle of a circle are subtended by the same chord and on the same side of the chord, then the central angle is twice the inscribed angle. If two angles are inscribed on the same chord and on the same side of the chord, then they are equal. If two angles are inscribed on the same chord and on opposite sides of the chord, then they are supplementary. For a cyclic quadrilateral, the exterior angle is equal to the interior opposite angle. An inscribed angle subtended by a diameter is a right angle. The diameter is the longest chord of the circle. If the intersection of any two chords divides one chord into lengths A and B and divides the other chord into lengths C and D, then AB equals CD. If the intersection of any two perpendicular chords divides one chord into lengths A and B and divides the other chord into lengths C and D, then A2 plus B2 plus C2 plus D2 equals the square of the diameter. The sum of the squared lengths of any two chords intersecting at right angles at a given point is the same as that of any other two perpendicular chords intersecting at the same point, and is given by 8R24P2. The distance from a point on the circle to a given chord times the diameter of the circle equals the product of the distances from the point to the ends of the chord. Sagitta the Sagitta is a line segment drawn perpendicular to a chord between the midpoint of that chord and the arc of the circle. Given the length y of a chord and the length x of the Sagitta, the Pythagorean theorem can be used to calculate the radius of the unique circle which will fit around the two lines. Another proof of this result which relies only on two chord properties given above is as follows. Given a chord of length y and with sagitta of length x, since the sagitta intersects the midpoint of the chord, we know it is part of a diameter of the circle. Since the diameter is twice the radius, the missing part of the diameter is in length. Using the fact that one part of one chord times the other part is equal to the same products taken along a chord intersecting the first chord. We find that x equals 2. Solving for r, we find the required result. Tangent a line drawn perpendicular to a radius through the end point of the radius lying on the circle is a tangent to the circle. A line drawn perpendicular to a tangent through the point of contact with a circle passes through the center of the circle. Two tangents can always be drawn to a circle from any point outside the circle, and these tangents are equal in length. If a tangent at A and a tangent at B intersect at the exterior point P, then denoting the center as O, the angles BOA and BPA are supplementary. If AD is tangent to the circle at A and if AQ is a chord of the circle, then DAQ equals one half arc. Theorems The chord theorem states that if two chords, C, D and E, intersect at A, then C A times D R equals each times bar. If a tangent from an external point D meets the circle at C and a secant from the external point D meets the circle at G and D respectively, 
then dc2 equals dg times de. If two secants, dg and de, also cut the circle at h and f respectively, then dh times dg equals df times de. The angle between a tangent and chord is equal to one half the subtended angle on the opposite side of the chord. If two secants are inscribed in the circle as shown at right, then the measurement of angle A is equal to one half the difference of the measurements of the enclosed arcs. This is the secant secant theorem. Inscribed angles and inscribed angle is exactly half the corresponding central angle. Hence, all inscribed angles that subtend the same arc are equal. Angles inscribed on the arc are supplementary. In particular, every inscribed angle that subtends a diameter is a right angle. Circle of Apollonius Apollonius of Perga showed that a circle may also be defined as the set of points in a plane having a constant ratio of distances to two fixed foci, A and B. That circle is sometimes said to be drawn about two points. The proof is in two parts. First, one must prove that, given two foci A and B in a ratio of distances, any point P satisfying the ratio of distances must fall on a particular circle. Let C be another point, also satisfying the ratio and lying on segment ab. By the angle bisect of theorem the line segment PC will bisect the interior angle APB, since the segments are similar. Analogously, a line segment PD through some point D on AB extended bisects the corresponding exterior angle BPQ where Q is on AB extended. Since the interior and exterior angles sum to 180 degrees, the angle CPD is exactly 90 degrees, i.e., a right angle. The set of points P such that angle CPD is a right angle forms a circle, of which CD is a diameter. Second, C for a proof that every point on the indicated circle satisfies the given ratio. Cross ratios A closely related property of circles involves the geometry of the cross ratio of points in the complex plane. If A, B, and C are as above, then the circle of Apollonius for these three points is the collection of points P for which the absolute value of the cross ratio is equal to 1. Stated another way, P is a point on the circle of Apollonius if and only if the cross ratio A, B, C, P is on the unit circle in the complex plane. Generalized circles if C is the midpoint of the segment tab, then the collection of points P satisfying the Apollonius condition is not a circle, but rather a line. Thus, if A, B, and C are given distinct points in the plane, then the locus of points P satisfying the above equation is called a generalized circle. It may either be a true circle or a line. In this sense a line is a generalized circle of infinite radius. Circles inscribed in or circumscribed about other figures. In every triangle a unique circle, called the encircle, can be inscribed such that it is tangent to each of the three sides of the triangle. About every triangle a unique circle, called the circumcircle, can be circumscribed such that it goes through each of the triangle's three vertices. A tangential polygon, such as a tangential quadrilateral, is any convex polygon within which a circle can be inscribed that is tangent to each side of the polygon. A cyclic polygon is any convex polygon about which a circle can be circumscribed, passing through each vertex. A well-studied example is the cyclic quadrilateral. A hypocycloid is a curve that is inscribed in a given circle by tracing a fixed point on a smaller circle that rolls within and tangent to the given circle. Circle is limiting case of other figures. The circle can be viewed as a limiting case of each of various other figures. A Cartesian oval is a set of points such that a weighted sum of the distances from any of its points to two fixed points is a constant. An ellipse is the case in which the weights are equal. A circle is an ellipse with an eccentricity of zero, meaning that the two foci coincide with each other as the center of the circle. A circle is also a different special case of a Cartesian oval in which one of the weights is zero. A superellipse has an equation of the form for positive a, b, and n. 
A supercircle has B equals A. A circle is the special case of a supercircle in which N equals 2. A Cassini oval is a set of points such that the product of the distances from any of its points to two fixed points is a constant. When the two fixed points coincide, a circle results. A curve of constant width is a figure whose width defined as the perpendicular distance between two distinct parallel lines each intersecting its boundary in a single point, is the same regardless of the direction of those two parallel lines. The circle is the simplest example of this type of figure. Squaring the circle Squaring the circle is the problem proposed by ancient geometers of constructing a square with the same area as a given circle by using only a finite number of steps with compass and straight edge. In 1882, the task was proven to be impossible, as a consequence of the lindemann weierstrass theorem which proves that pi is a transcendental number, rather than an algebraic irrational number, that is, it is not the root of any polynomial with rational coefficients.